In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the screen pump effect right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's get into it. So once you're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, you've got a brand new sequence created. You've got your footage on the timeline. We can begin with the screen pump effect. So to begin with, we're going to go into our effects window. And if you can't see this on the left, you want to select this arrow here. Of course, though, if that's not showing up, then go to window, make sure effects has got a tick on it. If it's not ticked, then it won't appear. So make sure that has got a tick next to it. Then in the effects search bar, you just want to search for transform and that should be under distort. Now you want to drop that onto your footage and you want to ignore the motion tab up here. So just close that down if you want. If that makes things easier, just close that down and we'll go down into transform. Now, the reason why we're doing this in transform rather than motion is because when we do it in transform, we can add motion blur, which makes it look a bit better than doing it with motion. So we'll just go to our point where we want to do the screen pump effect. We'll go to scale create a brand new keyframe on scale at 100. We'll go three frames to the right. One, two, three. In fact, now we'll do four. So we'll do another one more. So that's four frames to the right and create a brand new keyframe on scale at 100%. Now we'll go two frames to the right. So we're in between those two keyframes and we'll increase the scale to 110. Now, if we quickly play this back, you'll see we've got this really quick screen pump effect happening. Of course, if you wanted to speed this up, then all you have to do is just decrease the gap between those keyframes. So we'll make that one frame difference. And that's a really quick screen pump. Of course, if you wanted it quick in and slow out, then you just increase the gap between the second and the third keyframes. So as you can say, it pops in and then slowly eases out. Of course, you can increase that gap even more. So that feels quite a natural one. And then, of course, if you wanted multiple screen pumps, so you're doing this to some music, for example, you just highlight all of those, go Command C if you're on Mac or if you're on Windows, it's Control C. Or you can just right click and copy. Then we'll just move over and we'll go paste. So Command V or Control V. And that's going to paste that in. So we've got one, two and just keep doing that for however many times you want the screen pump to appear. So as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four. And on each one, it's quite sharp on the first and then it eases out from the second to the third keyframes. So if we were using the motion tab, I would say that is the screen pump effect now complete. Thanks for watching. Great. But because we're doing the transform tab rather than the motion tab, we can go down to this section called use composition shutter angle and we'll turn that off. And then we'll increase the shutter angle to 360. And now when we play this back, you can see we've got motion blur on this screen pump. So we'll go in between here. And as you can see, as it's moving in, we've got all of this motion blur. And when we play this in real time, you can see that's making that screen pump feel more powerful. One tip is you don't have to make that second keyframe 110%. If you wanted a really big hit at the beginning, you can change that to whatever number you like. I'm going for 150 here. So we're going from 100 next frame is 150 and then we're back to 100 so that is how this looks so the first one's quite aggressive and then the rest of them are calmer again of course if you wanted them to slowly get less and less so the intensity is less on each one then you can do that by changing this keyframe here to 150 we'll change this one to 130 this one to 115 and then this one here to 105 sorry 105 and then when we play this back, first one's intense, second one's less intense, third one's less intense, fourth one was barely even noticeable. And there you go. That is the screen pump effect using the transform tab rather than the motion tab right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. As I said before, it's a great way of adding life and character into a music video or a montage based edit. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support and hopefully I will see you on the next video. See you there.